I just want to say, um, I've been here and I've had uh, a wonderful time. The talents that's around here is amazing. But I'm going to change the atmosphere now. Okay, because I think as we look at what's happening in our communities, um, going from London to the other part of um, the different parts and areas in our communities, we know that there is something that we have to do to change things. And things need to change. When you look at young men stabbing and shooting each other, and um, when you look at the young men and who they are, and we have to, and I'm hoping you are thinking about what can be done, not only that, but something that you as a person can do to bring change. Children are amazing. We are given children to train them up. This verse that sticks in my, every time I hear some, another child die, this verse comes to me. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, and I like that bit, he says, when he is old, he will not depart from it. Now, I go to church on Sundays, yeah? And I uh, have lived, really, I think, my whole life there, since maybe I can remember myself at three going to Sunday school, and then from there moving on and getting older and older. Mothers Against Violence is the name that um, has really gone all over the world. I'm surprised by it. But it, how, how it came about was again, it was during the years when there was a lot of shooting in Manchester. I'm from Manchester. And um, young men were just shooting and killing each other for no reason. I always see for no reason. And I actually, one day, after praying, be, I've only got a couple of minutes, one day after praying and saying, you know, God, what can we do about this situation? Because I was hurting. I was just seeing young men of colour just being shot down by their peers. Now, I want you to think about that. Because for me, this is more important than what we would celebrate today in relation to Black History Month, okay? Or, you know, and I think it's much more important. Young men are dying on our streets. They've been shot, they've been stabbed. And when you see what is happening and how it's happening, you think, how could anyone do something like that to another human being. How? But it's happening. And we all, every single one of us, have a responsibility to bring change in our communities. Children learn what they see, hear, and experience. And you know, did you know a child will never talk if you didn't if you didn't talk to a child? Did you know that? If you didn't say words to them, they wouldn't know words. You know, if you look at animals, my, my husband spends time looking at animals on the television. I always wonder what he gets out of that. But I started watching it as well. And I look at how they behave. And I'm thinking, where? You know, the lions, the tigers, how they, you know kind of a work together and things like that. And I'm learning something from them. But as I speak to you in this short time, what changed in Manchester was that a young man died who shouldn't have died because he wasn't part of a gang, he wasn't carrying a knife or a gun or anything like that. And that young man was my son. And like I said, as I prayed and asked God, that was before my son was killed. What can I do? What can I do to help? I remember he spoke a word to me. God speaks. Okay? And he asked me a question and I said, well, 
yes, I'm willing to do that, not recognizing what it was going to be, okay? But my son was shot kind of a, maybe a year after that, and he died. And that bring a change in my life. It changed me to a point that I became radical. My son was dead, I didn't know why. And I tried to find out by going to a meeting, which a young man, which was a friend of my son, said to me one day, he came to the house, I think it was just about a week after my son died, if that much, and he said to me, Mrs. Mackay, my son was 20 years old, he was around about the same age, he said, Mrs. Mackay, a group of women are meeting in the community. I didn't consider myself a community person. I considered myself, my community was my church, okay? And he said, um, I think you should be there. And I thought, what a young man, kind of a 20 talent, a woman of about, how old was I, maybe about 50. And um, saying, you know, this, I really believe you should be there. He had known me over the years because he came to my house. It was one thing, we had lots of young people in our houses, in my house, yeah. And he'd known me that much and he said that to me. And I, even though I had slept when my son died, very well, uh, that night I couldn't sleep. It was going round and round in my head and I turned up and Mothers Against Violence was born. All I went there for is to find out who killed my son and why. But here I am today and I am actually making a difference in the world that we live in. And the, the fact I'm so overwhelmed that you know, I've been kind of all over the world without leaving. Sometimes I did because I went away into America to look at the issue over there with the BBC. And I'm here tonight to tell you and to implore you as I close. I'd like to say much more to you, but like I said, I only have a short time. And for me, this is much more important. Would you consider that? Is it what I'm talking about is much more important. Our sons are dying. They can be fathers to children, yeah? And this is something that we need to give serious thought. If you go online, there's Mothers Against Violence online. We've been going since 1999. That was when my son died, okay? And if you want to support us in any way and help in any way, then if you go online, it's www. and it's Mothers Against Violence. Yeah. Mothers Against Violence. Uh, <laughs> sorry? Dot org. Dot org. Yeah. Thanks very much. And even if you just put Mothers Against Violence, it will come up, you know, online. So I want you to do that. I'm not here really because I want to, you to support me. I'm here because I want you to bring to your mind what is happening and to tell you that you have a responsibility to do something. It doesn't matter how little or how large, okay? And so I want to thank you for being here. I hope you continue to enjoy the rest of the show because I have to be going back to Manchester in a couple of minutes. So thank you very much. God bless you. That is Mothers Against Violence.